it's time for us to check out our special feature. And this special feature is on an upcoming event called the Einstein Lectures. Kweku actually had the privilege of sitting with the cousin of world-renowned German physicist um, Albert Einstein. Let's check it out. All right, welcome back. It's time for us to get into a very interesting conversation. Now, if you have heard of the scientific formula E equals MC squared, well, you know what it's relating to, right? You know who it's related to. Well, it's a conversation this morning, and uh, we're not talking exactly about E equals MC squared, but there's a connection, okay? Let me introduce you to my guest who are in studio. I have with me um, author Ralph. Um, I also have with me uh, Dr. Shante uh, Flonoy. Um, and then I also have Professor George Prisible Einstein. Yes, you heard it, Einstein. Let me just welcome them first of all. Welcome to the Breakfast Daily. Thank, Thank you. you. All right. Now, let me start with you, Arthur Ralph. Um, you're the founding president of um, Relevant Achievers Impacting Nations. Why have you brought these esteemed guests to Ghana? Well, um, good morning to your distinguished listeners. Um, so, rightly, as you put it, I'm the founding president of the Relevant Achievers Impacting Nations. We have a network within RAIN Foundations, if you okay. like, that is the predecessors awards mm. worldwide. Now, what we do is um, to honor heroes in society who have left their footprints in the sands of time. Mm. Uh, we've been doing this for a couple of years now. Okay. Last year, we honored some 27 um, heroes in Europe, okay. um, constituting countries like uh, France, Belgium, Finland, Germany, and so on. Um, we honored 33 in Africa, mm. and then 26 in America, wow. of which Professor Einstein was one Okay. of the honorees. Okay. Um, he happened to be the outstanding personality of last year's um, edition of the America Awards. Okay. And as part of the package for our honorees, we get them to undertake projects, mm. projects that are within the scope of their heartbeats. Okay. And um, we, as a team, as an organization, we help precipitate the execution of such projects. Mm. Now, um, in America, we have the Einstein Medical Institute, mm. of which Professor Einstein is a founder. Okay. Uh, we have not anything like that in Africa. Mm. So I thought that um, it would be great to have um, what we have in America, yeah. here in Africa, okay. and for that matter, in Ghana. Mm. I shared my thoughts with him, and he welcomed the idea. Okay. And let me say that I met Professor Einstein through Dr. Shanti, okay. who is the second vice president of the predecessors I was worldwide, mm. and also a medical doctor. Okay. Yeah. All right. Now, let me come to you, uh, Dr. Shanti. What's your connection to mm. Professor Einstein? Yes. Yeah. Is there a connection? There is a connection. Okay. There's a connection there. Talk to us about it. So that. I want to first say thank you for having me come from America to Ghana. <laughs> it's a pleasure to be here. To the connection you. here is Dr. Einstein was my professor in the PhD program. Okay. Okay. Fantastic. Now, um, let me just ask you, this is your first time in Ghana? This is my third time in your Ghana. Your third time yes. in Ghana. Yes. Okay. And what's the experience been like not in sense of like a socio-economic sense but in terms of the projects that you're working on and impact that you're you're seeing what's the, that experience been like okay the experience is definitely positive as he has mentioned the need for the Ghanaian people to empower them mm. uh, and to there's a, a saying that if you teach a man to fish mm. he will never go hungry yeah. so it's to enlighten to bring mm. the power here mm. to the uh, education system yeah. to further it mm. fantastic all right so let me uh, come to prof um, your I mean you have a, you've had a distinguished career you know so many years of impact in different levels um, in, 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 in science and medicine and so on and so forth. For you, what is your heartbeat when it comes to 
looking at everything that you've done, what is your heartbeat? Yes, um, I am. I feel strongly uh, the mission for humankind. That the mission is by education that will synchronize mm. with the foundation. Mm. Education, education is the information. Education is the f skills. Mm. But next step in my area of interest of application, uh, biophotonics, stimulation of the immune system as a successful treatment, mm. uh, and uh, uncurable disease. Okay. Uh, what I want to not mm. discover this in this moment, uh, we will leave this for September, is uh, to just make with education people healthy. Mm. And that health synchronize also from my beat of my heart mm. and from my humankind yeah. mission to the world. Mm. Because of level of science doctor and philosophy doctor as academic, the highest degree, yeah. is for me very important to unify the world mm. who are divided by religion, sometimes misunderstanding the culture, uh, and uh, or divided by political science. Yeah, yeah political science. Yeah. So right now, only the voice who need to be go from the basis, from the people, and the people need to through the education mm. and health, who we are giving them energy, mm. the quanta photonic energy. Okay, that is giving this. Uh, yeah, movement okay. to the world. All right. Now, I want to ask you that, um, of course, the, the v viewers are watching, and I think that fascination will, for a lot of people would be, how are you related to the Albert Einstein? Yes, uh, uh, I will tell you uh, indirectly. Uh, I was uh, living in a communist country that was prohibited to com communicate with West. Okay. When he died, I was 14 years old. Mm. Right. And 14. Uh, 14 years old. Mm. My mother uh, only survived from this uh, exodus. Okay. Uh, and my father, because it was on wanted list, he didn't leave, didn't, didn't leave Europe. Mm. So he found out that he need to leave the area of Germany okay. when the occupation was there, and he escaped to the Francais. Okay. And the Francais, finally, they got him. And 14 of June, mm. 14, uh, 1941, okay. no, 40, uh, 44. 1944. I was three years old. Okay. So in this moment, it was, uh, prohibited mm. the side of Europe Poland became to Eastern Europe yes. a communist country yeah. under occupation of the uh, Soviet Union mm. uh, and uh, we didn't have any information but only from my mom I get the information mm. of uh, the communication I see and the connection okay now uh, we were speaking of uh, earlier, and I just get the sense of um, you feel almost like you've been given the burden to carry um, on the work and extend further the work of Albert. Yes. You know, um, tell us about that and the impact that you're looking to have in the medical field. Yes, that's that was very important. Uh, and that was uh, just inspired me strongly mm. in high school okay. on Dagestan. We have very, uh, they, in Europe they call professors as well, mm. and, uh, but professors of high school. And, and this time I have also a very inspirational professors who uh, emphasize strongly on mathematics, physics, and chemistry. Okay. So uh, for me to talk about human mm. existence is very important. The na our nature, psycho nature, brain, uh, uh, physical nature, mm. physics, 
chemical nature, mm. chemistry. chemistry. If this, tr this triangle uh, energy is in coherence mm. and harmonic coherence, the uh, system is dynamic, yeah. that I decided to, through my education mm, to go through the uh, multi, uh, multi uh, uh, education okay. as physicist, as engineer, mm. and uh, everything helped me later on became a uh, natural mathematical doctor. Yeah. Right now, mm. and uh, of course, PhD. So this is the, this was the heart uh, to uh, uh, correlate, to correlate chemistry, phys physics, yeah. and uh, the uh, neural mm. system. Mm. What is in the brain? Fantastic. I love that. Um, I mean, let me come back to you, um, author of the 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 thing he's sharing right now about how that we go to school right, right and we math physics chemistry and people ask the question why are we learning all these things that we are learning you know as though it doesn't have relevant impact but from everything that he's saying and what he's done there's a direct cor correlation between what we're studying and even our health that's right. The fact that you're walking around as a healthy person has everything to do with chemistry, everything to do with physics, everything to do with math. Now, why? Talk to us about the program or what you're looking forward to um, in terms of impact that is going to happen this year. Okay, so um, before that, I, yeah. I would need to uh, bring to our attention mm -hmm. that all of us alive, we have dreams which we look forward to fulfilling. Mm. Um, I have a different um, perspective when it comes to dreams. I don't see a dream as an ambition. I look at a dream, I actually look at a, the word dream as an acronym for okay. a divine, realistic, extraordinary, achievable mission. So I believe we're all here on earth with a mission, a mission. that is divine, okay. that is realistic, okay. that is extraordinary, mm. and that is achievable. Okay. Now, to fulfill your dream, you have to be healthy. Absolutely. In other words, you have to be alive. Mm to be able to fulfill your dream. So the subject or the conversation around health is an indispensable one. Mm. And uh, Professor Einstein will tell you that when it comes to issues of health and longevity of life, uh, music, love, and uh, mathematics are of critical importance. Yes, <laughs> yeah, so um, we um, dreamed up the idea of bringing Professor Einstein to deliver some lectures mm. in Ghana, Kenya, and South Africa in okay. September. Okay. And um, The three centers of Africa. Anyway, right. You know. So <laughs> the Einstein lectures, we call it Tell Africa. Okay. okay. So in September, Professor Einstein, Dr. Shante, and a, a, a team of other, you know, host of other people will mm. be um, coming to Ghana to deliver some very um, high-impact lectures. Mm. Um, we'll be going to Kenya and South Africa as well. Um, in the same month, we'll be launching what I believe to be historic, the Einstein Memorial Institute. Okay. And um, the Einstein Memorial Institute represent three things. We represent imagination, creativity, longevity. Wow. And uh, we believe that these three are very critical importance, especially in this mm. continent. You know, in Africa, we seem to give preeminence to just one of the five faculties of the mind, and that's the faculty of memory. Mm. And so when you go to school and you're able to memorize what yeah. you are taught, yeah. and um, you do it effectively, you come out and we, we, we are told that you are a first class student. Yeah. But more often than not, the faculty of our imaginations yeah. are untapped. And that's why we don't have much creativity in yeah. this part of the world. Yeah. And so the Einstein Memorial Institute mm. looks to activating this mm. critical faculty of the mind, yeah. which is the let, imagination. Let me, let me come to Dr. Shante. In the African-American experience, what would you say it's been like um, regarding what um, author Ralph is talking about, the, the lack of creativity as a result of maybe a social stifling of sorts, you know? Um, what's that like? Generally, I mean, considering the fact that you've educated yourself to a very, very high level, um, but the general, you know, experience for African American people, um, what has that been like? 
Um, I believe that it's, it's more freedom, I would say, for education mm. in the U.S. Mm. Um, there's no pressure, but there's no limits. Okay. And so the creativity is encouraged mm. in the African-American community. Mm. Um, the emphasis that I'm finding, um, being that I'm visiting Ghana, yeah. and I'm learning the culture and how to integrate it, mm. I am finding that the African uh, in Ghana uh, they're more highly emphasis on the education yes. for the African American yes. than it is in the U.S. Yeah. Okay. And so it has definitely inspired me to even take back mm. the experience that mm. I have here mm. um, to the uh, America, to U.S. Yeah. of A, uh, yeah. to emphasize to our young people mm. how treasure it, it is here, mm. that we should treasure it more there, mm. put more emphasis and to move forward. Yeah. Yeah, I, it's, it's interesting, you, you know, the, I'm wondering though, and Ralph, you may be able to help me on your perspective on this one. The education emphasis is very high here, but what's driving that? For me, I'm thinking it's possibly as a means of escape from the doldrums and the experience that we've had, we see education as a means to, you know, escape that. Not necessarily as a means to explore and, you know, see more of the world per se, but it's more as a means of escape. I don't know what you think. I, I agree with you. I, I, I think that um, I would also say that education in this part of the world mm -hmm. It's more of a, a quagmire, I call it a quagmire, like mm. a difficult situation. And um, uh, more often than not, people see education as a space for uh, preparation to, to, as it were, make a living. Yeah. So I'm in school and I'm waiting to finish, mm. to complete, mm. then get a job, and then, you know, blah, 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 blah. Um, however, education is supposed to be fun, if mm. you like. Yeah. If you look at Europe, you look at America, yeah from childhood yeah. growing um, education is fun it's, yeah. it's made it, it's not a difficult thing how many children um, in Ghana or in Africa love to wake up on Monday and go to school you know and how many children are not happy on Fridays now yeah. the weekend is approaching <laughs> so there has to be um, a conversation around making yeah. education fun um, creating that space if you like of liberty mm. allowing that explorative aspect of man yeah. to you know to lose i think that we are more in a box mm. than outside the box so yeah. we're not even allowed to yeah. think outside the box yeah. if you like yeah. yeah all right finally let me wrap up with you um prof so earlier when we spoke of air um one of the things that i gleaned from our conversation was that you're looking at um bringing health to all humans if possible but from the cellular level correct yeah why is that important <clears throat> because uh, let's see my uh, basic uh, is uh, not a rigid model but basic is 10 constraints of our system mm. uh, like through the brain heart uh, lungs and next uh, digestive system uh, immune system and uh, next uh, uh, kidney uh, physical uh, endocrinological system yes. right kidney, kidney uh, right and yeah. uh, next uh, musculoskeletal system skin okay right and next still is a, a reproduction system yeah. as well uh, as DNA nucleus, okay. DNA, DNA, and this is a molecular level, mm. uh, just cell, mm. and that is this near on my whole model is on the uh, immune system okay. uh, constraint. So the ten system need to be in harmony, okay. coherence, when are uh, your spirit, mind, body, mm. general, mm. is a. a in peace. Mm -hmm. The first triangle what I try to talk about is brain, heart, uh, and uh, lung. Mm -hmm. If, simple for everybody, mm -hmm. I will tell if your mind is in peace, mm -hmm. your heart is beat slowly and strongly. That's true. 
uh, you can see right now the blood is going everywhere, mm. right? And it's, uh, you feel different. Mm. Uh, but in the same, the same moment when brain is in peace, heart beats strongly, mm. the, if you sit, you automatically you feel that you are breathing deeply. Mm. And there's, each day I'm doing this on the ocean side, okay. and I uh, see, feel by myself. Yeah. So that is the, if I synchronize the mm. energy on the first triangle mm. and the next to the other one yeah. part, yeah. That, is, that is the energy mm. for longevity, mm. for harmonic system of our energy dynamics yeah. Yeah. and life extension. Mm. So that's, that's why I, I believe that, uh, for, but I make the analysis, mm. mathematical analysis by physics, quantum physics, mm. quantum chemistry, mm. that we need also educate people on higher level, above master degree mm. to science doctor mm. for specific uh, analysis yeah. and the same uh, right and that's what a PhD, PhD like uh, highest academic uh, uh, degree mm. uh, so we have uh, international one language like it's uh, same uh, universe yeah. of uh, religion mm. right one uh, right and the same is mm. by we need to uh, on the uh, let's see between uh, culture and uh, politics mm. as scientists to build to be the judge and then give the equilibrium for life extension <laughs> <laughs> I love that I love that one of the things that you shared with me earlier which which I think I will take with me forever is um, how that um, um, when the body is in harmony it's like an orchestra that's playing in perfect tune and harmony with each other. As soon as someone is sick, it means a member of the orchestra is playing a discord or something out of tune. And you can hear it. Something's not quite right, you know. And so that's a beautiful analogy. But I want to say a big thank you to all of you for coming through and thank sharing you. this with us. Looking forward to the event later on in September. And, um, and looking forward to more from um, the Einstein Lectures as well as the Einstein Memorial Institute of Education and Health. That's going to be in Accra? Yes. Um, we're yet to confirm that. Yeah, yeah, we're we're confirm getting quite a number of offers, <laughs> yeah, so we're looking at that. Okay, fantastic. Yeah. Looking forward to that. Thank you very much to um, author Ralph, who is the founding president for Relevant Achievers Impacting Nations. Also to Dr. Shante Flonoy, uh, she's the second vice president of the Predecessors Award and awards and also of course to dr george prisable einstein he is the distinguished professor of physics and biosystems don't go anywhere <laughs>